For a recent college graduate, finding an affordable housing option can be a really daunting task, especially if you live in a notoriously expensive city like Denver, Colorado. We're about to meet a young woman though, who has found a wonderful, albeit tiny solution that's bound to set her up for a really big future. Hi Jackie! Hello, nice to meet you. This is my tiny house. <laughs> and what a great looking tiny house it is. Hey, who's this? This is Darla, she's the tiny hound. <laughs> Hi Darla, what kind of dog is she? Uh, just a chihuahua. Perfect dog for yes. a tiny house, isn't she? <laughs> yes. What a great looking home. You've Thank got the you. white picket fence and everything, don't yes, you? Yes, yes, I've got it all here. <laughs> so what actually led you to living in a tiny house? Growing up I went to a Montessori school, preschool all the way through high school. and. We really learn about sustainability, reducing your footprint, and just um, having less stuff so that you're less stressed. And so that's really what led me to do it. I didn't really have any plans of doing it, but I bought it off Craigslist and have just loved it ever since, made it my own. And where are we right now? Where did you actually find a parking spot for the house? So right now we're on my dad's property. We moved here to get horses and stuff, so um, I've been able to put it on here for now and eventually move it once I pay it all off. Yeah, I love it. I've got chickens and horses and dogs. And isn't that a great way of doing it? Taking a tiny house and using it almost like a stepping stone. You get into your own home, you make sure your home's bought and paid for, and then you can worry about land later on. It's just been perfect because I've been able to do it all with the help of my parents, but just right out of college and unlike a lot of my friends who have had to pay rent and just been in this constant debt, like I've already got my own home and yes, I just love it. <laughs> and how large is this house actually? So it's 27 feet by 7 feet, 190 square feet total. Great size. Yes. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Oh, look at this place. <laughs> what an absolutely charming home. Was the home like this when you bought it or have you styled everything yourself? Yeah, so a lot of the things actually did come with it. A lot of the little plants and, and just small things, but I added a lot of, of my own characteristics to it as well. This has to be one of the most impressive tiny house kitchens I've seen so far, actually. Yeah, I use it all the time. Baking, cooking, everything. And you've got full-size appliances everywhere, haven't you? Yeah, I think they're considered apartment size, but they're enough for me. So you're obviously someone who likes to cook? Yes, yes, I love to cook and bake. So what about things like power and water here? It's all electric, and then I just have a hose connection as well. And you've got your dining table here? Yes, yep. This is custom made by the guy I bought it from, and usually he makes these big tables out of repurposed wood, but he made me a tiny one just for my home. <laughs> really love the style that kind of continues through. Very comfortable looking seating area you've got here also. Yeah, so the couch is custom built for the home, and we have some storage underneath as well. Oh, perfect. Yeah got a fireplace and it's all electric but it heats the house perfectly. Even an electric fire like this can just add so much charm and character to yeah. the home, can't it? I love to just get a book and a cup of tea and it's a perfect place to relax. And through here is bathroom? Yep. It's not often that you can say that someone's got a really lovely bathroom, but <laughs> this is a really lovely bathroom. Thank you so much. Over there you've got your washer dryer as well? Yep, fully functioning washer and dryer. fits. All the clothes that I need. Brilliant. And you've got your shower there, full size shower by the looks of things? Yep, it's full size and I even have a pretty big water tank so I'm never running out of hot water or anything. And normal toilet as well, normal flushing toilet. Yeah, I just couldn't quite go to the compost yet but um, it's something that could happen in the future. <laughs> Some people do need a little bit more persuading. Yes. <laughs> There's this lovely kind of charming country cottage theme that's going throughout this whole house, isn't there? Yeah, yep. It fits perfectly with the land and my personality as a horseback rider and um, yeah. And so you've actually got quite a lot of storage that you've built into the staircase as well, haven't you? Yeah, the staircase really doubles as a library, closet, shoe storage, everything right here. And more to come upstairs? Yes. All right. 
Oh, I absolutely love this loft space. Thank you, I love it too. A lot of people are a little bit worried about feeling claustrophobic in sleeping lofts. How do you find it? So the roof actually comes about a foot higher from the regular ceiling, so you're not feeling claustrophobic. You can sit fully straight up in here and um, it really makes it feel bigger and, and nicer up here. Absolutely, and your guard dog definitely seems to like <laughs> yes, it up here, yes, doesn't she? Yes, she loves it. Yay. This is her favorite spot. <laughs> she can look out over the whole house. One of the things that I absolutely love about this loft space has to be the metal roof. That's such an unusual feature. Yeah, and it's metal all the way through, so you can hear all the rain and different weathers of Colorado. So how long have you actually been in this house now? Yeah, so I bought it on December 20th. Um, took about a, a week or so to get everything ready and situated and then spent my first night in it on um, the first of January. And how are you actually adapting to life in a tiny house? I love it so much. Um, it's just, I know where everything is. Everything has its specific spot and I come home and feel relieved and relaxed and um, not worried about anything else in the day. What did your family think about the idea of you living in a tiny house? Were they immediately supportive or did you have to talk them into it a bit? I definitely had to talk them into it a bit. Both my sisters are, have big families and big houses, and so when I was like, I'll take this tiny little house, they um, definitely needed some encouragement, but they've loved it and really supported the journey. And how do you find the tiny house has actually allowed you to sort of move into the working world? Has it given you more options? I was expecting to pay rent at some place in Denver for a ton, just like all my friends have. And when I had this option come along, it really helped me decide where I wanted my finances to go after college, where a lot of my friends have kind of had a struggle there. And it allows you to be really close to your horses here as well, doesn't it? Absolutely. I can see them outside my windows and it really just reminds me to go out and ride them every day and um, just show that I'm so lucky that I get to have them right in my backyard. And can I ask what this house actually cost you to buy? Yeah, so um, I took out a loan for 42000 And when you think about the amount that you're having to repay on that loan, how does that compare to what your friends are paying in rent? It's amazing because it's just about half as much as they're paying in rent. I've already got it a quarter of the way paid off, and I'm putting my money towards something valuable and equitable and good for my future where they're just paying for a rented property. I think this tiny house was a perfect move for you. It's awesome to see how happy the house has made you. Thank you so much for showing me around. Yes, thank you so much. It was my pleasure. And thank you too, little one. <laughs> hey. Tiny house dog. <laughs> One of the reasons I keep coming back to tiny houses as such a great solution is that it just gives you so many options. In Jackie's case, it enables her to live close to her family, close to her jobs, close to her animals, and gives her the most amazing life post-graduation with plenty of options coming into her future. Now that sounds like a smart move to me.